All right, I've been waiting a while to make this product review uh, of one of the favorite things on my desk at work. This is a model of the Back to the Future DeLorean. Uh, obviously the iconic time machine from that series, from that trilogy. And as true fans of the trilogy will note, uh, the presence of Mr. Fusion here on the back indicates that this particular DeLorean is from Back to the Future 2. And we'll have some issues with focusing here, I apologize as we go through this, but um, you know, a couple of things to point out. The level of detail here in the back is pretty impressive. Um, all the little plastic pieces that you know are kind of fragile for just casual play. Um, you know, also multiple colors and things, so that's quite a bit of work that went into the design of some of the inner workings of the back here, both by Doc Brown and the makers of this model. Um, so one of the things I'll point out here for fans of the trilogy, it's kind of uh, one of the only complaints I have here. You'll notice the out of time license plate, as uh, my hands are too shaky too, but the out of time license plate was not present on the Back to the Future 2 DeLorean. Um, in 2015, they had a silver, well, it's sort of a red background, but a silver barcode. Uh, so it would have been reflective um, and did not say California or out of time, though presumably maybe it said that in the barcode version. Um, so that's one of the only complaints I have about this, and that's also the only sticker that you needed to attach when you unbox this thing. Okay, uh, Mr. Fusion itself, you can see it's it's loose like a second grader's tooth. Um, you pull that out, that piece came separately taped underneath the car inside the box and you have to attach it on your own. It is still kind of loose, but that, you know, by moving that one vulnerable piece um, to underneath the car, it made it a lot more secure inside the box and uh, and the packaging material could you know come right here instead of breaking this off and shipping. So probably a good decision by the manufacturer. Um, classic gullwing doors from the film. As you can tell, this doesn't make any uh, hissing noise or uh, nothing lights up or anything in here. I wanted to attempt to get you a shot inside the car. We'll see how the focus does on this one. Ooh, not well. Let's try again here. Ooh, that's close. Okay, well, you get the idea maybe from back here. As I set my phone down. <laughs> and the door falls too. Maybe we'll get some better lighting in there. But uh, as you can see, inside the car, uh, you do have your time circuits right in the center there. Come on. That's that's about as good as it's going to get, unfortunately. But uh, you can see the, the control here to turn on the time circuits. Uh, you enter the destination um, time on there. It has all the other dials and things that you would expect. If we can get a shot inside the car, might be tricky. In the back, there is a flux capacitor. Maybe you just have to trust me on that. <laughs> but I can see it way in the back. And, and the flux capacitor is just a gray color. So nothing, uh, nothing overwhelmingly impressive. Um, it doesn't light up. It doesn't have like an electric blue color to it. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay, you saw it for a second. All right, <laughs> that's enough of my uh, terrible attempt at some macro shots. But uh, overall, you know, really happy with this model. Um, you know, the price at less than $30 is pretty affordable for anyone who's a fan of the film. It makes a good conversation piece. Um, it's also, you know, available through Amazon, so easy to access. If you're a fan of the other... Um, DeLoreans from the same series. You can actually get this uh, same model, pretty much the same car, uh, with the hook extending out the back um, from Back to the Future, just the original 
Back to the Future film. And then you can also get the one with the large microchip stand-in on the front, uh, the white wall tires and things from Back to the Future 3. I will link all three of those down here in the description. Um, you know, for what it's worth, any fan of the movies will really appreciate this model. And uh, it's a good conversation piece, looks great on my desk at work. And, uh, you know, these could be put on display or just used to play with, but I recommend the former as an adult. Anyway, that'll do it for this uh, overview. Pretty in-depth and uh, sometimes out of focus product review. Uh, the company is Welly and uh, neglected to mention that the tires are made out of legitimate rubber too so that it rolls really nicely really smoothly on my desk uh, when I'm on a phone call sometimes I'll just play with it like this but um, that'll do it let me know what you think um, about the movie or this model and subscribe to this channel uh, for more product reviews thanks